everyone hope you guys are having a fantastic day we have plenty to talk about but before we get into that we're gonna get into lifting our voice and praising God
remember last time we talked about thrift stores and how one person's junk is another person's treasure, what to value and what has value. There are so many things that you can find in a thrift store, but something else that also happens is that people often donate things that they don't mean to, and some things get lost forever. Don't you just hate losing something and forgetting where you left it? What do you do? Well, I don't know about you, but I think that this is a great time to share with you a story from the Bible about some things that were lost. Before we get started, does anyone remember our main question? How does God take care of his creation? Well, we need to remember that God created everything and he is in charge of everything. So how does God take care of his creation? God loves and rules over his creation according to his perfect plan. As you hear today's Bible story, pay close attention to how the story shows God's care for his creation. If you were with us last time, you might remember when he was on earth. Jesus spent three years teaching people about God and his kingdom before he died on the cross to rescue people from sin and death. Jesus often told parables or stories to help people understand what the kingdom of heaven is like. In Matthew 13, we see how Jesus taught that God's growing kingdom is more valuable than anything. Today's Bible story is called Three Parables. Let's find out more by checking out this video. A crowd of people went looking for Jesus. They had seen him perform miracles, like feeding more than 5,000 people. They went to Capernaum and found Jesus on the other side of the Sea of Galilee. Teacher, when did you get here? They asked Jesus. Jesus answered, why are you looking for me? Did you want to find me because I can do miracles? Or were you looking for me because I gave you food? If you're seeking food, remember that food on earth will perish. Search for food that gives eternal life. The Son of Man will give it to you. This food never goes bad. The people asked, what does God want us to do? Jesus said, believe in the one whom he has sent. The people said, what will you do for us to make us believe? Will you do another miracle? The people wanted bread from heaven like Moses and the Israelites received in the wilderness. Jesus said, God the Father gives true bread from heaven. I am the bread of life. No one who comes to me will ever be hungry and no one who believes in me will ever be thirsty again. Jesus explained that the Father had sent him to do God's plan. God's plan is that everyone who sees Jesus, God the Son, and believes in him will have eternal life. The Jews began complaining because Jesus said he came from heaven. Isn't this the son of Joseph? They asked. Jesus said again, I am the bread of life. I came from heaven. Unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you will not live forever. When Jesus said this, many of his followers said, this teaching is hard. Who can accept it? Many of the people who had followed Jesus turned away from him. Jesus asked his 12 disciples, do you want to go away too? Peter answered, Lord, where would we go? You have the words of eternal life. We believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. Jesus wanted to do more than fill people's stomachs. He wanted to give them true life. Jesus' teachings were hard to understand. When Jesus talked about his flesh and blood, he was talking about his death and resurrection. When we trust in Jesus, he gives us the gift of eternal life. Jesus told three parables about things that were lost. First, a shepherd who had a hundred sheep. When one went missing, he left the 99 to find the missing sheep. When he found it, he celebrated. In the same way, a woman whose coin was lost searched her entire house until she found it. Then she invited her neighbors to celebrate with her. Jesus told these stories to teach us what God is like. God cares about people. He won't ignore or give up on one lost person. He wants everyone to be part of his family. Jesus came to seek and to save the lost. In the third parable, how was the younger son lost? Well, if you look at Luke chapter 15, verses 12 through 13, the younger son made foolish choices and ended up far away from home with nothing. I mean, nothing. 
The Bible says that when he came to his senses, he decided to go home. How did the father react to his son's return? Well, if you keep reading in the book of Luke in chapter 15, the father was so happy to have him home. And the story doesn't end there though. The older brother who never left home and always obeyed the father saw that his father was throwing a party. Why was he upset his brother was home? Well, the religious leaders were like the older brother. They tried hard to obey God's law, and they didn't think that Jesus should be friends with people who had done bad things. Just like the older brother didn't think that the younger brother should be celebrated for coming home when he had done wrong, but he himself, as the older brother, had done so many things right. Well, let me tell you, the good news is that Jesus is the mighty friend of sinners. We are all sinners, whether we break rules or try really hard to obey them, and Jesus wants us to turn away from sin and trust him. Remember, sin is anything that separates us from God. The religious leaders complain that Jesus welcomes sinners. Jesus told these parables to teach about God's forgiveness. God sent Jesus so sinners can be forgiven. As Savior, Jesus seeks sinners out. He paid the ultimate price. And that's something we should all want to share. We can all be part of God's family and experience His love and forgiveness. And if you want to be a part of God's family, why don't you repeat this prayer after me? God, I love you. Thank you for your son Jesus and the sacrifice he made for my sins. I believe in my heart and confess with my mouth that you are Lord. Forgive me of my sins and make me clean. Now, God, I can't do this on my own. I need your help. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Help me and guide me. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> amen. That was so easy. God loves you so much, boys and girls, and wants you to continue to grow. Remember, we still have a part to play. We should be making choices every day that show others the love of God. And speaking of making choices, I'm gonna make a choice right now to take a trip to Ireland on an elephant to go get some tacos, okay? All right, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>